Five. Perfect. What is up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Bold School of Commerce. You're here with Mike Tracklow from Bold, and I've got my special guest, Bill w- Bill Widmer here, who is, uh, you know, he's a, a big part of Bold. I'm sure you've seen a ton of his content. One big reason why we actually wanted to do this live stream, especially this webinar with Bill, is he wrote an unreal blog post that talks all about exactly what we're going to be talking about today. What exactly is AR, augmented reality? What's going on? What are people doing with it? Uh, it's a really great blog post. I'll make sure to link to this uh, afterwards. And, uh, and so, uh, Bill, just uh, what, what's going on over there? Not too much, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing, excited. Doing really well. Doing really well. So for those of you who are new to uh, to Bold School of Commerce. It's just like an actual classroom where if you have questions, feel free to write them in the comments. We're streaming right now live on Facebook. Thank you everyone on Facebook for joining us. Um, and for those of you who may be watching this afterwards and for everybody who's watching it right now, when everything is all said and done, we'll be emailing you uh, another copy of the presentation today. We'll also be writing a blog post on it with all of the, uh, the, the hot key takeaways that we've been talking about today. And, uh, and if you want to sign up for, for more Bold School of Commerce, we do it every two weeks. And, uh, and, that, and that's it. That's it. We're, we're, we run these every two weeks, and we try and give you guys as much information as we can about the, the trends and what's going on in e-commerce, how you can, guys can make more money on your stores, increase sales, entry of cra- increase traffic. You know, now we've got augmented reality, which I think is something that's, that's really exciting. And, uh, and, and it's, like, it's almost the, 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 the newest thing. You know, Bill, there's so many new things that are constantly coming out. When I think about augmented reality, the first thing that I think of is when they came out with Pokemon Go. So the idea here is if anybody doesn't actually know what the idea of augmented reality is, it's, it's, it's enhancing you know, your reality, if, if you will, from the most simplest terms. Something that is not there that's in front of you, know, using the camera lens that you have or, or using an app or anything like that. But now people are starting to catch on and see that this is really the big thing. So there's a lot of e-commerce stores that, uh, that are using it to, to their advantage too. So Bill, I was wondering if you could, if you could talk a little bit about that, where, where sort of, where is, is augmented reality going? What's kind of happening in the world of e-commerce right now? And, and why is it so exciting? Why should people get pumped about this? Yeah, definitely. So um, <clears throat> real quick, I just want to make a distinction between AR and VR. So augmented versus virtual. Okay. Uh, Virtual reality, you actually need like a headset. It's it's separate from the world around you right now. It's this total virtual thing that's separate. Whereas augmented reality, like you said, Pokemon Go, it's superseding something virtual into our actual reality. So in the example of Pokemon Go, you've got little Pokemon in an, in the actual physical world in front of you. Mm-hmm. It's not a separate space. So um, right now... Augmented reality, like you said, is kind of like this up and coming thing. It's not currently a big saturated market. Um, I actually have a couple of quick stats on here, which are really interesting. In 2016, the uh, AR and VR investments, uh, at least in the United States, was $1.7 billion, which already sounds like a lot. But then you look at 2017, it was actually $13.9 billion. Holy, that's like a... 717% 717% increase. That's absurd. So, yeah, it's crazy. And they're, they're thinking it's going to reach $120 billion by the end of 2019, which is massive increase even over that. So where the money goes is kind of where the trends end up going. Okay. Uh, right now, augmented reality, there's not a huge amount of stuff going on, but what is going on is really exciting. So for example, uh, I think this is going to impact more than anything like fashion and home decor niches, but there's definitely going to be a lot of other implementations for it too. Very cool. Uh, do you want me to give you a couple examples? Sure. Or? Well, let's just uh, let's just give people a, a little bit of a, a synopsis on what we'll be talking about today. For those of you that are just tuning in, we're talking all about AR. And for those of you who are with us right now, thank you for joining us. Here is exactly what we're going to be talking about today. So that way later on, you know, as we mentioned, we'll be sending out these videos. We'll be posting them on YouTube, Facebook, emailing them to you. So that way, you know, if there's something that, that you didn't catch, something that you missed or something you wanted to, to know a little bit more about, 
These are kind of the questions that we're going to be talking about today. We've already talked a little bit about what it is and why you should care and you know even a little bit about where it's going. And as Bill talked about, we're going to be talking about uh, some of the stores that are, that are using it right now. Um, and then the, I think the biggest takeaway for everybody watching right now, and I haven't seen a lot of content out there where we're going to be giving you actionable steps where you can actually implement to start to use AR on your own online store, in your own online experience, and just give you the tools that you need um, to make that happen. So I'm super excited about that. Um, we'll just give Bill another plug here today just because we're so happy to have him on. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to, uh, we want to encourage the conversation for, for whether that's Shopify partners, anybody who has an e-commerce store, anybody who's wanting to make money online. This is exactly what the Bold School of Commerce is allowing us to do. Uh, so, uh, and, and I'll make sure to include um, all of your social handles. That's something I'm seeing here right now, Bill. We we'll should definitely uh, include how people can get in contact with you and follow you on, on Twitter and Facebook. And, and so that way they'll be able to take advantage of the uh, all the awesome content that you do because I am a big fan of Bill. He is awesome uh, and he knows so much and that's why I'm so pumped to have him uh, on the show today. So Bill, we kind of talked a little bit about what AR is. Maybe we could just sort of move uh, move even a little bit past that and talk about some of the stores that are even killing it today. You know, that's just something that I think people want to know about and uh, and and some AR applications in e and in e-commerce, if you will. Yeah, definitely. So uh, <clears throat> it was kind of hard to find examples of, of smaller stores. A lot of the ones implementing it right now are a little bit bigger, um, but that's just because they have that kind of test budget to throw things at it. So for example, Sephora is like this big makeup company. Okay. And what they're doing is, is really cool. Um, they're actually, you upload a picture of your face and it'll show you what the makeup looks like on your face. So if you're not sure which shade of lipstick or eye makeup or whatever it is, I don't know anything about makeup. Yeah, but, sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you're not sure which shade to get or what color to get, you can actually upload a picture of yourself and see which, what each different kind looks like on you. Okay, that's so. very cool. So that's kind of the same idea that people who maybe aren't experienced with e-commerce or applying anything to their store, the idea here is where you, know, you have your Snapchat filter, you can put glasses on your face, you can turn yourself into a funny bunny rabbit or something like that. But – the technology that they have there is so amazing that, you know, rather than, you know, it's fun to put a, a, a rabbit or some ears on your face or something like that. But the idea that it's going to be possible for you to have, you know, your actual face with glasses that are form fitted to you, or maybe, you know, it's, it's in a, uh, an, an actual storefront, a, a brick and mortar store, you know, they're, they're creating that vibe where you can try on coats and stuff like that. That's kind of, that's the, that's the same idea here where you're going to be able to engulf yourself in this sort of, uh, this world and, and, and use these products and see sort of, uh, sort of where, where, uh, what, what they are and what, how they look on you. Even even beyond that too, it's really cool. Um, there's a lot of fashion stores that are implementing augmented reality in that you can just do like a selfie mode, okay, and you can swipe and try on different outfits on yourself. That's to unbelievable. See how they would actually look. And the reason this is so big for e-commerce is because one of the biggest reasons people abandon their cart and don't end up buying something is because they're unsure of which outfit they want to get or what size they want to get. Or um, they're unsure if, if it would really look good on them okay. or if it would look good in their house. And with augmented reality, they can actually see what it would look like before they even buy anything. Okay. It's like, for example, one of the big things um, that I've seen to increase conversions on a product page is like 360 degree video where you can swipe and move it back and forth and up and down. And that's the same concept. It's just – helping people imagine what something would look like, feel like in their hands. Okay, that, and that's really cool because I've, we, we talked a lot about abandoned carts and, and sort of why they happen as well on School of Commerce as well. And the, so free shipping. Free shipping was something that we talked about in a couple past episodes. And the, re, the reason why free shipping is so awesome is because you know, you ha if you do try on a hat or you have some sort of subscription service, whether that's hats or clothes, you know, you, you want to be able to try them on. And there's there's really no way and there hasn't been a way before, you know, this augmented reality scene where you could buy something knowing while it's going to fit fit you properly, look good on you. So, you know, rather than, you know, always offering free shipping is something that's really great. But the idea of you being able to show your customers 
what your products are going to look like on them. It's, you know, it's that, it, that feeling, you know, you're going to be able to evoke some sort of feeling where they say, wow, that really looks good on me. I'm going to buy that right now. And then it's going to arrive almost, you know, like the exact same way um, that it would uh, at their door. So I think that's something that's, that's just crazy exciting. The idea that we're going to be able to try on clothes and, 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 you know, you, and you mentioned that, that it, this is only, only getting started. Where's like, what, where's like the, 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 the end point here? Like, are we going to eventually be able to just put on, you know, some sort of glasses and, and, and be as if we're, we're, we're shopping in France or we're shopping on the other side of the world? Do you think, Bill, that's something that's going to be possible, like within, within the next little while? Yeah, honestly, I do. I, I that is, that, actually, that's exciting I, stuff, man. Yeah, it is really cool to think about. Like the other night I wear these, um, they're blue light blocking glasses. Okay. And uh, I was just sitting there on my kitchen table wearing these glasses, and I'm just like, what would happen if I could just press a button and then just, like, see a different reality almost in front of me? Like, if I could just go into a store and shop for clothes, yes. like you said, in France or something like that, just be somewhere else but in my living room or my kitchen or whatever it is. And I, I could definitely see that happening. There's The technology is there. It's just a matter of perfecting it and then making it affordable enough that – Everybody has it. Sure, and I think that's something that's that's really important to uh, really important to, to to talk about as well. You know, the the idea that it's you're going to be able to, to to shop from home. You know what I mean? Like, it, and that's that's where the sort of the big e-commerce push has come. You know, we've seen over the last you know one, two, three, four, five, ten years how many people are just more comfortable sitting at home. Watching TV, you know, they probably have their screen open here, their laptop over here, their TV on, and we're just buying because it's so comfortable. So now imagine not even having to to leave your house to to see what something's going to look like. One uh, one of the apps, I mean, I wanted to talk about today. There was there's Magnolia, and then there's also the IKEA app. Um, the feature here that I thought was really cool is the idea that you're going to be able to take your phone and show it in your room. So you'll show. What a, what a potted plant or what a chair or what a couch, the actual dimensions, will, you'll be able to see what it looks like in your room. So I, I think that's something that's really cool, Bill. The idea here that not only are you going to be able to try something on, but you're going to be able to visually see something in your house that's going to look exactly like it is because that's where the technology is at. Yeah, absolutely. Um, is there a chance we could show a video? Sure. Because I actually, um, I was doing a little bit of research before we got on the call here, and I found this video. Okay. It's, uh, it, it's, it's in Asia somewhere. I'm not sure where. Okay. And it's in Asian language. But um, it shows the application of, of augmented reality so well. It actually shows on the screen. Um, you point it at your desk or whatever the area is, and it will measure it out on the screen, and then it will actually let you select different items, and it'll show you what they look like. That sounds awesome. That. Okay, where yeah. where can I where can I find that video, Bill? Here, I'll, I'll send it to you in Skype. Okay, beautiful. Just sent it. Okay. It's like a minute and twelve seconds. Okay, let me just check that. So I got my screens all tied around here, Bill. No worries. I had to go and throw a wrench in there with that video. <laughs> no, that's good because we, we really do. I was even trying to, uh, to get one of the apps installed uh, or not installed just so that way we could connect it to the computer to show what it would look like um, with, uh, with having a, a couch or not maybe not a couch. I was using a, a small potted plant that we were seeing how the, uh, the small potted plant was looking in the office place here. So we'll just try, oh, that's cool. and it, and it, it's so cool because like the the it's the exact dimensions, and it looks absolutely um, as it would look like uh, in, in your home, and that's just one of the really really cool ways that we can uh, we can show things going on. So we'll just try and pull that up over here, Bill. No problem, Mike. You got it. Queuing it up on YouTube, and uh, and Bill, for for the, for everyone listening, you know, if they want to find out a little bit more information about you know augmented reality, where were some of the the, the places that they can go that sort of you were be able to, to pull this information? Where can people find you on, on social media, online, your you know your your website, your social media channels? Yeah, definitely. So um, my website is just BillWidmer.com, and that's W I D M E R. Okay, that's a little weird to pronounce. Uh, but BillWidmer.com, and then on Facebook and Twitter, it's the Bill Widmer. Okay. So you can find either one of there. I'm on LinkedIn too. I post there a lot. Um, as for augmented reality itself, uh, there's 
not a ton out there, but um, I have found a couple of really cool articles that I was reading through before we got on here, and uh, I can share those with you after if you want to throw them in the show notes or something that like that. That would be perfect. All righty. Okay, well, we have the video queued up here, so let's see if we can get it going here. Okay. So those are the exact dimensions that that they would need then. Yeah, I, I can't see the video, so I'm, <laughs> I'm assuming you're at the park. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is and this is this is when when I was talking a little bit about the IKEA app and uh, and the Magnolia app, the idea that you can place an object. This is awesome stuff. Yeah, isn't that neat? Glasses. Yes. And it shows you the price and the reviews and everything right there. That is wow. Yeah, and you can just you can just pull it out and see how it would look like on your table. Very very cool stuff. That's what I'm saying. And this stuff is so like no one's doing this. It's such an easy way to stand out from the crowd because it's not saturated at all yet because it's such a new technology. Okay. Very very cool stuff. So, you know what Bill, actually I pulled something up on the screen here. I'm just going to repull it up again. This is uh this is the augmented in reality uh e-commerce blog post that you wrote for us. Um, would you mind you just maybe kind of walking us through sort of, uh, sort of where this idea came from and some of the, 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 the cool aspects um, of AR and then, and then we can maybe even talk about, uh, you know, we're about halfway through the, uh, through the episode now. Then we can talk about some actionable items here, but I just wanted to make sure that people knew about this blog post. Um, we've definitely seen a lot of traffic and you can even see right here in, in the this is this is the idea of, of augmented reality you know the 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 idea here of of being able to see things that that weren't actually there here so maybe we could just talk a little bit about uh, about that bill and then we can from there we'll go back into the presentation and talk about uh, how we can uh, you know take some actionable items and how people can actually get involved and set that up on their storefronts yeah Mike for sure so uh, in the article I, I talk a little bit about the differences between VR and AR so you can kind of clear the air about uh, that if you're still not totally sure. Um, and then I talk about some of the different applications like uh, AR in the fashion industry. I show an example of how you can swipe and look through different clothing and sure. how it looks like. We talked about that. Um, and then there was a, an older but still pretty cool idea is that you can actually shop for like engagement rings and different kinds of jewelry. And uh, in that particular example, you actually had to cut out a piece of paper and put it on your ring or I mean on your finger okay. to see the ring. So it was, it was like back in 2010, but, uh, it was still a really cool idea. Yes. And then I have the Sephora example in there. Um, let's see what else do we have. The Ikea. Yeah. The Ikea there. and the Sephora, those ones were great. And one, and then there's a little bit about advertising in here. Um, so let's get back here. We'll just talk a little bit more about some, some, some practical ways that we can, um, we can get involved with e-commerce I'll just slide these on through here just so we can get uh, – so how to get started, Bill. That's, that's, that's really just the screen that I wanted, I wanted to get to. What are some ways that people can get started and, uh, and how, how, how is it possible? How can I as a store owner sort of get going with this and, uh, and make it possible? Definitely. So uh, there are a bunch of different solutions out there right now. Um, one of the more well-known ones, it's called Augment. Okay. That's just Augment.com. Uh, they're actually pretty affordable. I think the, the basic package is like $300 per month. Okay. Um, which for something like this, if you want to just try it out, you get, uh, I think a thousand views or something like that at the $300 a month package. And they'll actually build out, um, the augmented version of your store for you. Okay. So that's one way to get started. You can use them. There's other, uh, companies out there that do this like total immersion, for example, they do it as well. Um, I'm not sure their pricing. You actually need to get custom quotes from them. Okay. So basically you can use augmented reality in your store to increase your conversions. You can use it to help people see what your product would actually look like in their house or on their body, and that can increase conversions in itself. Okay. Um, the other thing you can do is actually augmented reality advertising. Okay. Which that's a little bit different. Uh, there hasn't been nearly as much application of that yet. Okay. 
But there is a, a program um, or a company called Layer, L-A-Y-A-R, and they let you create, like if you have a brochure or a magazine or something like that that you're mailing out, you can actually have people scan it with their phone and it'll show them 3D models of whatever you have in the brochure. Okay. So it's kind of like doing what you would do on your website but doing it in, on physical um, paper and physical products that you would mail out. Very cool. And I just pulled up this slide here. Here's a couple of the uh, the uh, the companies that you were talking about. I was just checking out Augment, and, and it's very simple to use. You know, you 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 have the ability to to almost you know. Pokemon Go yourself, if, if you will. You know, the idea of you being able to put something um, that you're selling in the hands of people, you know, rather than maybe catching Pokemon, you're, you're trying to catch sales. You know, you're, you're trying to have people, you know, catch your products and, uh, and you're trying to, uh, to, to encourage them to sell more. Um, so, so, Bill, we've talked a little bit about how people can get started. Uh, we, and, and most importantly, we've, we've talked about all of the really cool ways um, that, that people can, can sort of use it. For, for people who maybe are, very, are more familiar, you know, we, we, we've glazed over um, the ideas of uh, you know, you know, using it, um, getting started to use it. Are there any power tips that we can talk about? You, know, you, you mentioned uh, advertising and, and campaigns like that. Could you maybe paint us a little bit of a picture on, 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 and, and elaborate on that idea a little bit more? Definitely. So uh, my biggest advice would be to make sure that you do it on the mobile version of your site. Okay. Um, obviously, because if you're doing it on desktop, people can't, I mean, they can use the webcam, but um, so do it on mobile. If you can, actually create an app for it. Okay. Um, I know Shopify gives you the ability to create an app for your store, so you can kind of implement it alongside with that. Uh, and the reason you would want to do that is to make it easier for people to access, and also you can build that into your whole loyalty program, and it, it kind of all works together really nicely. Um, but my biggest advice, I would say, is to do a trial run, okay. uh, test it out, and see what the response is like. And if it's a good response, then that's obviously you can go into that and scale it up. And if it doesn't work for you, it, it doesn't work for you. Um, it might be too early, but I mean, you're you're being innovative. You're getting into this stuff before it's really hitting the market. So sure, yeah. I mean, I mean the, the the major drawbacks here are just you know you 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 won't be an early adopter, and then you know maybe your competitors. Uh, even if, if, you know, if you're in a real niche market and, and, and somebody, you know, decides to take that plunge and to, and to check it out, then, uh, then, you, you know, you, you might be out of the loop there. Also, you know, as a, as an, as an e-commerce store owner, you know, you want to show that you're cutting edge. And I think that that speaks to, you know, you speaking about, you know, SEO, you know, you're, uh, an SEO consultant and an SEO expert, the idea here of, of obviously constantly updating your blog, constantly creating new content, linking back to, to old content and whatnot. But the idea, if you have a, a blog and you write on your blog twice a week, even if you're in a competitive industry where, hey, let's, you know, let's, throw, let's throw everything there. You're in a competitive industry and your competitor, maybe they have, you know, the, the, their price point is lower than yours. If you're constantly innovating and you're constantly putting out new content, I think it's pretty safe to say that when your customers are looking for somebody to, 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 to buy from and to align with, you know, they're probably going to go with you because they see that even if there's a competitive pro uh, product out there, you're innovating and you're constantly doing more and you're constantly putting yourself out there. And I think that's why it's, you know, it, it, it's really important for us to, to even talk about AR so that way you, know, you, can, you can really stand out in a crowd. Definitely, Mike. And two quick points. Um, one... If you are getting into content marketing and SEO, I actually recommend writing fewer posts instead of more. You said okay. two per week. I would say um, a good goal to aim for is one per month, maybe even one per two months. And the reason for that is because you want to put a lot of effort into the promotion and building links to that content so it ranks. But okay. aside from the point. Perfect. Second thing, who is this for? Who should use augmented reality? This is for the people who want to be cutting edge, for the people who want to be seen as the forward thinkers and honestly, if that's you, that's probably a good thing because the world of e-commerce is constantly changing. For sure. And if you're not adapting the new technologies and the new things coming out, you're going to get left behind. No kidding. So. All right. So I, I just took a little bit of a, a break here uh, and I just checked along to see if there was any questions. 
as with any episode of School of Commerce, um, we're always open to questions um, and question time. Uh, and even if we don't get to, in, uh, if you're watching this afterwards and you do have a question, myself uh, and and Bill, you know, he he'll be available to answer any questions you do have here. Um, we're just sort of running near the end of our of our Bold School of Commerce time frame and our lesson. Um, so just to recap, we talked all about augmented reality. What is it? Why and, and, and why you should care, you know, some, some practical ways that you can actually get involved. Uh, we've given you a, a few examples on some awesome stores that are using it, you know, um, not only stores that are using it and, and apps that they're actually uh, implementing augmented reality with, but some apps and some platforms that you guys can also use to start using this if you want to be, um, you know, on the ground floor of this cutting edge technology. Um, we had uh, Bill Widmer on as our guest. And so, Bill, I just wanted to, to throw it to you one more time before we close it out here. Uh, thank you so much for, for, for joining us today. Um, maybe just reiterate, you know, your, your social media channels and where people can get in contact with you and, and, and any closing remarks that you might have. Yeah, Mike, sure thing. So, um, yeah, again, it's BillWidmer.com and the Bill Widmer on Twitter and Facebook. Um, and definitely feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I answer all the questions people ask me. Um, I love to give back, so feel free to ask me anything. Uh, final takeaways, I kind of already said this, but it is a very new cutting-edge technology. And if you are an early adapter, you're going to be ahead of the curve on these things. Uh, in business, a lot of beating the competition is about that slight edge effect. Um, just having the slight edge over the competition that makes you a little bit better, yeah. that brings compounding results. So. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome stuff, Bill. Thank you so much again for joining us on for this episode of Bold School of Commerce. Um, I, I know, and I, I maybe I don't know, but I hope that you're a fan. So just allow me to tell uh, to tell you and our audience of what's coming up. As you know, we stream... Bold School of Commerce live every two weeks. Um, on March 1st will be the next one, two Thursdays from now. We're talking about the best podcasts of 2018 so far. We're going to try and get a panel of people talking all about that. You know, we've got the new Cha-Ching podcast, Kevin Wilde, our partner manager, um, who has been putting out a uh, ton of great content on there. There's four new episodes after that, on March 15th, we've got the best books of e-commerce. I think our own Jason Myers is going to be joining us for that one, talking about you know the best the best books that you can sort of read to 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 beef yourself up as an e-commerce you know uh, an, an e-commerce person. You know, um, some tips and tricks, some people who've carved the way already that you know that they've they've carved the way. And there's there's only so much things that you need to know, but these guys they know it and they've done it well. And then at the end of March, we're going to be talking all about Facebook, some campaigns that you can actually steal from us to make more money. I'm sure you've read a ton of blog posts like that, but Either way, we'll be showing you um, live on air. So thank you for everybody who joined us today. Um, if we didn't have a chance to get to your questions, you know, feel free to write them down in the uh, Crowdcast or on Facebook, and we'll answer them right away. I've got a bunch of screens going on here, so you know what I mean? It, it'll be just easiest to do it that way. And Bill, thank you again for joining us. I hope that you know, you'd be happy to pop on maybe in a couple weeks from now, just down the road, and, uh, and we can talk about something else. I would love nothing more than just to get a panel of people you know, in the e-commerce world just, just having a big chat about you know, any topic. So if you have any topics, idea that you would want to talk about, Bill, maybe slack me after this and, and we'll get to going on that. Sounds good, Mike. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, everybody, for tuning in, and we'll catch you in two weeks. See you later, guys.